Hello guys, welcome to your special tube. Today I will show you how to download very crucial soil data from Strict Soil Data Hub. Before we go to the main uh, session, I would like to remind you to subscribe my YouTube channel to gain updates from my channel. Please hit the bell and you will gain the notification. Let's get started. Before we go to the main session, I would like to say something about soil. Soil is one of the natural phenomena and it is a loose material which is found on the surface of the earth and it is a byproduct of parent material. The topographic structures that include the slope prospect and other phenomena, the climate, organism and time. The other important point that is stated here is that ISRIC is an abbreviation that is uh, stated as follows. I stands for international, S is soil, R is reference, I is information, and C is center. So ISRIC was developed or established in 1966. Moreover, ISRIC soil data contains both the physical and chemical properties of soils. So, both physical and chemical property of uh, soil parameters are found in this data hub and we can easily download and we can use for our uh, modeling or for our projects. The other is uh, the data format is found in different kinds of data formats. For instance, the data can be found in vector and raster data format, mainly in the form of GeoTIF, TIF and virtual format. The other crucial point is uh, the spatial resolution and scale of the data. In ISRIC data, there is vector data and vector data have different kinds of scale and uh, the raster data have uh, a spatial resolution of 5,000 5, meter, 250 meter and 1,000 meter. Based on our preference, we can download and use the soil data. So, uh, the main point is how to download the soil data. To do that, we are expected to open our Internet Explorer. Then, by opening the Internet Explorer, we can write google.com. After having this, we are uh, trying to uh, type ISRIC data. ISRIC data hub or we can say ISRIC Soil Data Hub. After uh, navigating, we gain uh, these options here. So uh, click on the first option, ISRIC Soil Data Hub, then it leads to this page. As you see here, this is our central location for searching and downloading soil data layer from around the world directly access through the link below. To download any parameter of soil, we can use this site and uh, the link is here. Go to this inter -Israel soil data hub and click here. Then it leads to the other page which contains different keywords. Here there is different keywords as, as I have mentioned earlier. The keywords are digital mapping, bulk density. This is one of the physical property of soil. Texture, calcium, soil profile, the soil pH, nitrogen, carbon, different nutrients, scattering exchange capacity, electric conductivity, salinity, water holding capacity, organic matter and organic carbon. All these listed parameters are some of, some of them are the physical property of soil whereas the other is a chemical property of soil. So if you are interested to download any parameter which is listed here, you can select and you can download it. For example, let me click on texture, soil texture. Here there is different filtering mechanism to uh, minimize uh, based on our uh, interest. If we are interested to download uh, texture, we can tick the texture. And if you are interested in other parameters, you can select. So uh, click all, then extra parameters are listed down here. The other is there is also different kinds of uh, file format. There is GeoTIFF, uh, there is zipped file. Based on the data, there are also different kinds of data formats. Here is uh, a scale. A scale is related to the vector data. So, so uh, there are different kinds of scale. 
related to that uh, the selected uh, soil texture. Uh, uh, the next point that is stated here is that spatial resolution. So spatial resolution is a manifestation of raster data and we are interested to download with better resolution of 250 meters. So I will take this 250 meter spatial resolution. I'm very much interested to download the soil texture of uh, Africa. So here there is Africa soil grid texture and the soil grid with 250 meter spatial resolution with a year of 2017 version 3. The texture class is USDA system. USDA means United States Department of Agriculture. Based on United States of America Department of Agriculture, soil, soil texture is classified into 12. Let us see here. As you see here, this is the map of Africa and this indicates the soil texture map. So first code is 1 and the code is ranges from 1 to 12 and 1 means clay and 12 means sandy clay. Based on this, we can develop our legend. So uh, this is very interesting portion of this session and I would like to copy this. Then uh, I would like to open Word or any other it can be notepad or it can be word let me paste here then i'll go back to this i'm very much interested to download a soil grid of soil texture with a spatial resolution of 250 meters then i'll click here and it leads to this uh, downloading uh, options here there is download geotiff at depth of zero centimeter at depths of 5 uh, cm, at depths of uh, 15 cm. So, if I am interested with the depths of 50 cm, I would like to download uh, by clicking this icon. Click here and simply we select the destination folder. Uh, so, I would like to put here on Isric uh, soil data. So, this is texture with 250 meters save it and here uh, downloading the document after a while the african soil texture can be downloaded and i'll show you how to uh, extract our area of interest based on uh, arcgis so uh, let me open uh, arcgis arcgis or arcmap This is, uh, by the way, this is the soil profile of, or the, whole, the soil horizon of a certain geographic area. So at the top soil, at 5 cm depth, 50 cm depth, 30 cm and the like. So this is the soil profile data. If you are interested to download pH, data and exchange capacity, uh, go back to the coordinates. Uh, and you can download easily uh, different format so if you are interested to download ph you can take here ph uh, you can uh, if you are uh, very much eager to download carbon you can take carbon so uh, different parameters are available here and you can easily download and use for your modeling and for other research purpose this is downloading uh, i'll show you uh, i have uh, a downloaded version of uh, texture class let me open it and let me reclassify this is my arc map uh, i would like to uh, add my data as uh, this is the folder of destination of the downloaded file this is uh, the soil data that i have uh, downloaded so uh, the next step is let me see as i have told you earlier the soil texture of the african continent or the general classification of soil texture is classified into 12 and uh, it ranges from 1 to 12 uh, 1 means clay and 12 means sand and there is also different listed uh, components 
So uh, what I'm going to do is let me clip out based on your area of interest. For instance, uh, this is my area of interest. Add the vector data and uh, make it zoom to layer. Go to right click on area of interest, zoom to layer. This is my area of interest and I'll clip out this uh, raster data based on our area of interest. To do, to do that, go to Arc Toolbox. The Arc Toolbox, then uh, here is a Spatial Analysis Tool, then uh, go to Extraction tool, Toolbox, double click Extract by Mask, then here there is a dialog box, Input Raster is the largest data set of the applicant soil texture data, so click here. The input feature is also the vector data or the area of interest. So click here and select area of interest. Output raster is the final destination folder of the clip data. So we are uh, trying to give the name AOI area of interest area of interest soil texture soil texture. This is uh, the name. Save it and make it a uh, process. After a while, we'll gain the product of the area of interest of soil texture of uh, my area of interest. Great job. Then here, I, in the continent of Africa, I have 12 kinds of soil texture, but based on uh, my area of interest, it contains four uh, soil parameters. So I'm expected to develop the uh, legend of the area of interest. To do that, uh, make uh, the area of interest hollow, double click it and hollow. Right click, zoom to layer. So, uh, these indicators I have four uh, soil texture parameters in my area of interest of Cobo district, and I would like to develop the attribute table to do so. Right click on the layer, then open attribute table. So this is the attribute table, 1, 4, 6, 7, and 9 is a texture class, and this is uh, the count or the number of cell, or we can calculate the area of each cell texture based on uh, a spatial resolution. That means uh, each cell have its own spatial resolution of 250 uh, meters, so we can uh, calculate the area. But the main aim is to add a field to do so table option click and add field the name is texture class texture class and the data type is text so it okay then i have added the colon or the field of texture class after having this i would like to edit this the attribute table but I couldn't do uh, edit because the editor button is not active so go to the editor then start edit the editing layer is soil texture so uh, select soil texture then hit ok now uh, the editing option is possible one means as I have mentioned earlier and I have listed on the word document one is clay and I would like to write clay sorry Clay. Four is clay loop. Copy and go to here. Paste. The other is six. Six. Six is sandy clay loop. So copy and paste on this. Paste it. Seven is low. And the final nine is sandy. Sandilo. After having this, go to editor tool and click stop edit. And you want to save edit? Yes, I would like to save edit. Then uh, make it clear here. 
Then click on the layer property. This is uh, the value and the value field is different. Uh, you can tick here and here there is the newly added field. So select texture class and uh, this is uh, the, the texture class. So uh, if you are interested to change the color, you can uh, change the color ramp based on your color preference. So uh, this is four and you can use easily, easily de detectable uh, colors. For instance, this is clay and this is sandilum, then make it okay. This is the final soil texture map of my area of, of interest. So uh, this is a sample and you can download any physical and chemical property of a soil. Uh, so if you have any question and comment, please well. Uh, and I would like to remind again to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.